Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and today we have a very special Skincare Saturday. We thought the last Skincare Saturday was special. Well, let's be honest, they're all really special. This one is special because we are finally targeting our neck. With this, Crepe Be Gone. I know, I know. I saw this at, it has one of these prices. It must have been the Ross. I don't think it was the, I think this was the Ross. I got this for $4.99 and I was quite intrigued. It is called Dermectin, Dermectin. I'm gonna go with Dermectin. Dermectin TS Crepe Be Gone. It's a skin firming neck cream. It helps tighten loose crepey skin on the neck and decollete, smooths, plumps, and firms dry aging skin. So when I saw it, I was like, hell yeah. And then when I saw that it was $4.99, I was even like, hells yeah. Now, the funny thing is, is I actually started testing this six weeks ago. I had a plan to do a four week test of this Crepe Be Gone. Then I got a special care package from La Vie Labs asking me to test their products. I couldn't keep testing this because some of the La Vie products went on my neck as well. So I stopped testing this for four weeks and now I'm gonna start it back up again for two weeks because I have already used a lot of it in those first two weeks. I know it's kind of a jip, but not really. Really, because typically I don't test every single thing for four weeks. Two weeks, as you know, is kind of like my deciding factor. I believe, unless otherwise stated on the packaging, I feel that two weeks of using something should give us a good indication on whether we should keep using it, whether we're seeing any sort of results, whether it's worth our time. 14 days of continued use of a product, we should see something. Even very, 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 very slight. And if we don't, then in my mind, the product is crap and we throw it in the garbage and start with something new. <laughs> That's the way I see it. This packaging does not make any promises whatsoever. It literally just says, apply two to three times a day. Who in the hell is applying neck cream during the middle of their day? You're gonna apply it in the morning and in the night. You're not gonna take a break at work and be like, oh wait, oh yes, can, can you hold, I need to, I need to go apply some neck cream real quick. Just hold real, real quick. You're not gonna be doing that. It says two to three times a day, I'm gonna apply it two times a day, morning and night. To desired areas, it's literally called Crate Be Gone. The desired area would be my neck. Now, because I already started this, like I said, six weeks ago. Me opening this right now and going, ooh, ah, oh, it's this, doesn't do you any good. So let's cut to when I actually first opened it and used it for the very first time. So, wait, what is it? So before picture is taken and we are ready to go. So let's open her up. We know that we're going to do this morning and night. It is nighttime right now. It's interesting that it says make sure skin is clean and dry before applying. Massaging in circular motions until product is absorbed. Considering I'm just going to use this on my neck, I'm just going to use whatever moisturizer on my face, I guess. Okay, so I just undid the lid. It's very old school looking to me, very old school looking. So, ooh, white, it's just white cream. Ooh, it smells interesting. It has like a scent, but kind of just smells like, oh my gosh, have you guys ever smelled the L'Oreal self tanning moisturizing lotion that's the firming one, not the regular one, or it's like tinted lotion, whatever. It comes in like a brown tube. It smells like that, actually. I kind of dig it. We're just going to get, to, oh, it's um, textures, kind of like a old school cold cream. It's like firm-ish and lotion-y. That's a lot. We're gonna scrape some off of my thumb. <laughs> my neck isn't that huge. So let's rub it on in circular motions. And I guess I'll try to go for circular upward motions, like this, I guess. And it just says to rub it in until product is absorbed. I'm gonna try to get like the full range of my neck. Oh, it also says to go down to like our decolletage area. 
I say decollete myself, but maybe I'm wrong. So it's very, I almost want to say greasy-ish. We'll see how well it absorbs. I'm having a hard time doing circular motions on my neck and trying to stay going upward. But see, a circle makes it go down. You guys will come for me if I start rubbing my neck downwards. So we're just gonna do upward sweeping motions. How's that sound? I feel like it's getting more and more absorbed the more I rub it in. I feel like that's absorbed as it's gonna get. I think we're good. All right. It didn't say there would be instant results, but I'm just curious. Do we notice anything? Probably not, because we have four weeks to go. Hopefully, we'll see something after four weeks. I mean, this was cheap enough. I got it at the Ross. It's worth a shot. Maybe it does work. Maybe I'll have a neck that looks better than this lady's at the end of it all. Night one down, four weeks minus one night left to go. Morning and night. Come on, crate be gone. Everybody keep your fingers crossed during the next four weeks because I would like this neck to look a little bit younger, if at all possible. Okay, so six weeks ago, I did take before pictures of my neck. However, today, since basically I'm just throwing those first two weeks in the trash, it's like they never happened because then I started using all the La Vie products for four weeks, I don't know. Is there a difference in my neck from when I started using the six weeks ago and now that I've been using the Levy products? I don't really know, but I'm calling it a wash. But I just wanted to let you guys know that that's what had happened. <laughs> full disclosure. So today, right now, I've already washed my face and I've taken new before pictures. So we are acting as if today is day one. It's gonna be day one of our two week test on Crepe Be Gone. So pretty self-explanatory. You just rub it on and you're done. So this is only gonna go on my neck morning and night. This is it. It's pretty easy. And then we'll call it a night and be done with it. And what I hope happens is this. This before and after picture is insane before, after. That's some miracle working shit if you ask me. So in two weeks, if we see anything, anything at all, any difference, I mean, like, look. Seriously, dude, seriously. Sometimes I'd like to think it's like veins in my neck, like here, it's not, it's loose sagging skin. So if this can help out with that in two weeks, hell to the yeah. And for $4.99, even more hell to the yeah. So this is night one of our two week test. Fingers crossed. We find a neck problem. Well, we haven't really even targeted our neck lately, really. There have been other products that we've rubbed onto our neck. I haven't seen any results with those products. So maybe this neck targeting product will actually work. So fingers crossed. Okay, so it has been just a little over a week. I have a few more days left of the Dermactin TS Crepe Be Gone. And I just gotta say, you guys, Look at my neck. Something is actually working. Can you believe it? I mean, seriously. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> it's deep. Look, my neck is still the same shitty neck as it always was. Yep, no difference here. And considering I've been doing it for a little over a week and I only have a few days left, I don't think we're gonna see a difference. But that's just me. Maybe I'll be wrong. And in a few days, something miraculous will happen. And I will have a neck that looks like I taped it back, but I really didn't tape it back. I don't think that's going to be the case. Every morning and every night I have been putting this on. Every morning and every night. I feel like I missed only one night. That's it. We'll see what happens in a few days when we take our after pictures. Okay, it is officially the end of our two week test for the Dermactin TS Crepe Be Gone. I mean, one can only gather by the name Crepe Be Gone that this would be gone. I, okay, I haven't taken my after pictures yet. I'm merely just looking at myself in the mirror. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I turned out like this lady in the before and after pictures. Like, look at her. She looks good. Her neck after looks hails the better than her neck before. 
What? It says it's supposed to help tighten loose, crepey skin on the neck. Smooths, plumps, and firms dry, aging skin. What the shit, man? There weren't any special directions. Apply two to three times per day. I only applied it twice per day, in the morning and in the night, to desired area, which was my neck. Massage in circular motions. I mean, it's pretty easy to put on a neck cream every morning and every night. And let's not forget, I had already done this and been doing it for two weeks, six weeks ago. So technically, all in all, I have been doing it for four weeks, not four weeks in a row, but for four total weeks. I mean, clearly I've been using it. What's the deal? Anyone? Anyone at all? Before I get my feathers too ruffled, let's take the after pictures and scrutinize what is going on. Here's what I'll say. The like sagginess, the looseness, all this shit that's happening here, it looks the exact same to me. However, if you like zone in on the actual like neck wrinkles, those look, and only some of them, not all of them, those look a little fainter. Like I'm gonna say like a couple on this side. These look a little less deep than original, but that's all I can say. I definitely don't feel, how did this leave, how did they take this? This has gotta be some damn ass Photoshop. Cause there is no way, there's, there's zero way. It doesn't say like the before and then the after was like eight weeks later or four weeks later. It literally on the jar just says before and after, no time frame. We did two weeks, which is kind of like our litmus test for if we think something is working okay enough to keep trying it, unless otherwise stated on the packaging. This had no promises. There's no way. How did they even, it's gotta be Photoshop, dude. Oh, like she maybe did my tape trick. Oh. She could have done my tape trick because they totally cut off the back part of her neck. So we can't tell if it's all squeezed back like this. That looks good. Look at how nice that looks. I bet that's what she did or what they did to her. Cause there's no way. Either they taped her neck up or they photoshopped it. That's all I can say to that. You know, in reality, did I have high hopes for something that I got at like the TJ Maxx or the Marshalls or the Ross for $4.99? No, no, I didn't, <laughs> you know. Like with everything, there's always a sliver of hope, but you know, now I've become so jaded. It's definitely more doubt than there is hope that these products are going to work. And you know, I hear you, I hear you. You know I respond to all of your comments. Some people are like, the only thing that's gonna help is Botox. The only thing that's gonna help is basically plastic surgery. Well, yes. While those things may be very, very true. Number one, ain't nobody got the money to spend on Botox. That's all I'm saying. My face would need a shit ton of Botox. Number two, I mean, I am intrigued by Botox. I will tell you this, please. If someone came up to me and was like, hey, Sherry, I've got some Botox in the trunk. You want me to just, I'd be like, hell yeah. I know that the lines on our face tell the story of where we've been. I get that. I also know that you're as young as you feel, which I feel completely, completely young. Like I feel like I'm in my 20s. I'd like to look a little bit like I was in my 20s, but you know. Yeah, I get it. Botox, facelift, what have you. I get it. Those are definite fixes and those are definite quick fixes. You know, I don't know what recovery time is on all that, but you, you get what I mean. Even though I am more and more doubtful every day with every skin product that I try, I'm still holding out hope that there is something that is over the counter. And I say over the counter because I also have had a lot of people say like, go to a dermatologist, get like super industrial strength retinol or whatever it is. Okay, but again, I don't necessarily have the money for that. I don't even have a dermatologist, who are we kidding? I really just really, really, really have to believe 
that there is something out there that is going to do what it says. And I probably responded that comment to many of you. Like I have to believe there is something that I can purchase, you know, online or at the Walgreens or at the Ross or whatever that is actually going to do what it says it's going to do. I have to believe that. We haven't found it yet. I mean, we've, we've skimmed, we've skimmed some of those areas like the rock. I felt like we saw great results. I probably should restart doing my laser beam. I mean, if we're getting real honest, you know what another thing is we're side noting everything. You guys pretty much see me at my worst. I'm not, a, maybe it's because, you know, I have gotten a couple comments recently that I look older than I am. Oh, well, that is what it is. But it kind of sticks with you a little bit. You know, I found myself the other day, like watching Ozark and comparing myself to Laura Linney. I was like, maybe I look like Laura Linney. And then I Googled how old she was and she's like 57. And I was like, oh shit. If I look like Laura Linney, then I look 10 years older than I actually am. But you know, we always like see the worst in ourselves. And I guess, you know, maybe we don't appear to the outside world as we do to ourselves in the mirror. But I don't know. I've gotten a couple comments lately that say that I look older than I actually am. So I've kind of been like stewing on that a little bit. And then I was thinking too, <laughs> You see me the shittiest. I mean, this is how old I am and this is how old I look. I have no makeup on. Clearly my hair is not done and it needs a dye job right now. But face aside, I rarely do myself up for these videos. What's the point? I gotta wash my face and put some cream on it. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. I guess I was just uh, feeling a little sorry for myself maybe. I mean, I hope I don't look 10 years older than I am. No one wants to look 10 years older than they are. Remember that show, 10 Years Younger? Wasn't it called something like that? They did a whole makeover and then they stood the person out in the middle of the street in like this glass box and then strangers had to come up and say like, she looks 27, she looks 47. Maybe I should get that glass box and figure out exactly how old I do look. But I actually, yes, okay. I was going to say, I don't care how old they look. I do care how old they look, please. Everybody cares how old they look. But I kind of don't. Oh, clearly, if I super duper cared, I would always be starting these videos looking good or trying to look my best. I know I'm no Tati. I know I'm no, you know, Michelle Pfeiffer or Cindy Crawford or Jennifer Garner for that matter. But, you know, how many of us out there are? <laughs> This wasn't supposed to be a soapbox. This was just supposed to be Dermectin Creepy Gun Doesn't Work. <laughs> so don't buy it. Point of my story is, that's why this channel is what this channel is, and that's why Skincare Saturdays are what they are, is because we are forever on the hunt. One day, we're gonna find it, and it's gonna be something, I would love it if it was something that cost under $20, and it was like a two-step process. That skincare industry, that's a huge industry, and we have barely tapped into it. We got lots more products to test, is all I gotta say. And thankfully, we are done testing Dermectin TS Crepe Be Gone. It didn't be gone my crepe. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to ring that notification bell and share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thanks for hanging out.